Have you ever wondered what to do with all the solar lights they have out at Dollar Tree? Well, stick around because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use them in your outdoor space. Over the years, Dollar Tree has come out with so many different solar lights. You can get some for $1.25 and they also have solar lights in the plus section. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you all the different ways you could use them around your house. This modern style of solar light is new this year and one of my favorites. So I definitely wanted to use that. So for this first project, you're gonna need two of those solar lights. You're also going to need my favorite product. You guys know it, it's Quickcrete. And then you're gonna need two containers that you can put the quick crete in. I find that something that you can peel back that's either paper or foam works best. I found these two ramen containers. One's a ramen container, one's a rice container. So keep these items because they're perfect for quick crete projects. I'm going to start by mixing my quick crete with water in a small bowl and you want to mix this together until it's the consistency of a thick pudding. Once you have it all mixed up, you're going to pour the mixture into one of your containers. And I filled them up about halfway full. I'm gonna repeat that with my other container, mixing more quick crete together and putting it into the container. So once you have your containers full, you're going to tap them on your table to remove any air bubbles that you have. Then you're going to put your solar lights in the center of these containers. Now the solar lights probably aren't going to stand up on your own, so you're going to have to use some painter's tape to hold them in place. Usually about four pieces of painter's tape will work and just put those around the edges. Now set these to the side, let them dry overnight. The next day you can come back in and you can pull off the painter's tape and just rip the cardboard off around the edges. And that's really all you have to do, and these are perfect for any outdoor space. I have to say, I think this next project is probably my favorite DIY in this whole video. You'll have to let me know what you think. So have you ever been shopping at the ReStore or any thrift store and you see these globe lights that you use in different chandeliers? Well, they sell them for so inexpensive. My ReStore sells these for a dollar each. So I bought these brown ones. Now, one of the trends that's really popular right now is mushrooms, especially in outdoor decor. So I wanted to turn these globe into mushrooms for my outdoor space. So I bought the black traditional solar lights. These are the ones you see most often at your Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add some E6000 to the top area of my solar light. Then I'm gonna place it upside down into my mushroom. Because you're using E6000, you need to let these dry overnight. So I repeated those steps with all five of my mushrooms. Once they have a chance to dry, now you can just put these in your yard. I think these make the most adorable mushroom decor. Now I have to tell you with this next DIY, I was not sure if this was gonna work. It ended up working great. So I'm really excited to show it to you. Now at the ReStore, they also sell so many different chandeliers that people drop off and they really don't want. And a lot of people don't buy them because they're heavy and they you know, take up a lot of room. So all of the chandeliers at my ReStore, they sell for $5. So I found this one, I picked it up. So the first thing I did was I needed to clean it off a little bit. And then I went in and removed the glue globes and all the lights that were left on this chandelier. So my idea was, could I make this an outdoor chandelier using solar lights? So that's what I'm attempting to do. So the first thing I did was spray paint it with a matte black spray paint. And I tried hanging it up, but that didn't work. So I ended up just having to kind of put it on its side outside to spray paint. So I spray painted one side, trying to get all the different areas, let that dry. And then I actually twisted it and spray painted it some more. I think I did this a total of three times to get it completely covered with the black spray paint. Next, I actually cleaned all the globes because they were kind of dirty. Then I added the globes back on and then put that little piece that kind of holds the globes in place on. Mm -hmm. 
All right, the solar lights I'm gonna be using are black traditional solar lights from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna take off the bases to the solar lights. And I'm gonna use a combination of hot glue and E6000 in where you would put the light bulbs for the chandelier. I'll put those in there and I'll just hold them in place until it's completely dry. I repeated that with each one of the little globes. I had nine total. You can hang this from your deck. You can also hang it on a tree outside, but I think it makes a gorgeous chandelier at night. One of the biggest trends I've been noticing, and I'm totally here for it, is people using faux plants and shrubs outside. If you're somebody who struggles to keep your plants alive, or maybe you live in a really hot climate and it's hard to keep them alive, this may be a trend that you wanna try. So I went on Amazon and I found this hanging basket that I thought this has gotta be too good to be true. It just looks so cute. And so I ordered it just to kind of see what it looked like, but it came with everything. It had the base for the hanger, it had a foam piece, and this arched boxwood, and then it came with all these different florals. So I thought, what if I put some solar lights in this hanging basket? I think that'll look really pretty at night. It'll light up and just look gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using these rose gold solar lights at Dollar Tree. These I think are new this year. I haven't seen the rose gold before. So I started by trying to put them into the foam, and I realized if I took that foam piece out and did it like just on my flat table, it worked a lot better than in the basket. So that would be my only recommendation. Just put your foam piece out and then transfer it into your basket. So I put the solar lights in a triangle shape on my foam piece. I took all the florals that came with that hanging basket and I just kind of fluffed them out. One way I like to do that is just shake them and that's going to expand the florals. And I tried my best to just kind of put them around. So I put like three at the top and then I just tried to evenly space them around my basket. After you have all your flowers in, you can kind of move the pieces to make it look fuller and then I put it in the hanging basket, and here's how it looks. I would love to know down in the comments, would you use faux plants outside at your house? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is solar lights. You can create your own wood box to use outside at your house using scrap wood. Now you're going to need to pick up two boards. Now, since this is going to be an outdoor planter, I decided to go with cedar boards, but if you wanna keep it inside, you could really use any board that you want. But I bought two cedar boards at Lowe's. One of the boards is a one by six by six. The other board is a one by four by six. So I'm gonna start by measuring my coffee table where this is gonna sit to decide you know, how long I want my planter box to be. I cut two side pieces that were the same length. I'm gonna to go to my smaller board, which is my one by four by six board, and I'm gonna cut that down to the same length as my two side boards. Next, I'm going to use my nailer, which I will link below. I love this nailer. You guys know I use it all the time. I'm gonna nail the side boards to the bottom board. Next, I'm gonna come in and cut side pieces and I'll nail those in place as well. I'm gonna sand any rough edges on the box. Now, since this is going to be an outside planter, it's important to have drainage. So I used my drill to create some drainage holes on the bottom of the box. So I wanted to add some solar lights to this planter. Now you're definitely going to need something underneath to fill it with because you don't wanna use your nice rocks to fill in your box. I found these super fancy lights at Dollar Tree. I love the scroll work on them. So I'm gonna put five of these lights into my box. Next, I wanted to use a combination of moss and then these white rocks that I picked up at Home Depot for a completely different project in my house. I actually had some left over. So I'm gonna start by putting down the moss and then I'll add in my rocks. These are great sitting out on a coffee table in your outdoor sitting area. Thank you. 
Have you walked by these $1.25 hangers and wondered what you could do with them? Well, these are great for those hanging solar lights. So you can put them out in your yard and then add on some of your favorite solar lights. In the plus section, they have these hanging ones for $5 and I think they look great on these hangers. We were at the thrift store the other day and I found this candle holder. It was really unique and something I hadn't seen before. I think originally it was made for tea lights, but I had the idea of could we use this for our solar lights? So that's what I picked it up for. So I started by cleaning it because it was really dirty. Then I wanted to spray paint it black. So I came in with a matte black spray paint on the bottom side. And then once that was dry, I flipped it over and spray painted the top. I did want to add some textured spray paint to it so I had this kind of like black metallic textured spray paint I added that to the top as well now I needed five solar lights for this next project and I removed the bases off of these solar lights and then to hold them in place, I hot glued each of the solar lights to the bottom of each of the holes in this candle holder. Once that was dry, I knew that I needed to add a little bit more to really secure these solar lights in place. So I mixed up some more quick crete with water. Now before when I was doing quick crete, I was definitely making it a thicker consistency, but this I wanted it to be a lot thinner because I knew it was gonna be harder to put the quick crete around the edges. So I made it a little bit more watery. Then to add it to my containers, I put all of the quickcrete into a Ziploc bag. This is kind of a technique you use whenever you're icing cakes. So I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I cut off the corner. I squeezed it into each of the areas around the solar light. Once I was done doing that, I tapped the candle holder down on my tray just to make sure that the quick crete was as smooth as possible. And make sure they're as full as you want them to be. Now you may get some quick crete around the top edge, just kind of pull off any excess. Let it dry overnight. I did want to clean it up a lot more the next day, so I did go in with an additional gray paint that I have and just paint along the top so it looked nice. I feel like this is a really unique solar light piece that maybe you could set out on a side table or it would look great on your coffee table. So I had some solar lights from last year that were pretty dirty. And I was wondering like, how do you clean solar lights? So I went searching and I found this trend where people were using bug spray to clean their solar lights. So I wanted to try that out and see if it worked. Let me show you how you can hang some of your solar lights. So what you're gonna need for this next project are those hanging baskets that they sell at Dollar Tree for $1.25. You're also going to need three solar lights. Also from the Reese store, I picked up these dollar globes. They sell these a ton or you may have them around your house. So I'm gonna start with that base and then I'm going to put in one of the Reese store globes. Next, I needed to fill that hole at the bottom so that my solar light would fit in there. So I have these wood rings from Dollar Tree that I'm going to hot glue into the bottom there. So I actually had to put two rings to make it the right size. So I put a Dollar Tree ring and then I put a smaller one inside of the larger one. Now for your solar light, you're going to remove the base and then you can set it down into that ring and it will hold in place. You can also E6000 it in place just to hold it really securely. I repeated these steps with two more hanging baskets. I'll hang these outside. I have these hooks on my deck and I think they are perfect for outdoor lights. So for our next solar light, you're going to need a dome. You're also going to need one of these hanging plant chains they sell at Dollar Tree and a solar light. 
you're gonna take the base of your dome and you're going to drill three holes around the outside edge because you're trying to make a hanger. You're also going to need to drill a hole in the middle of the bottom of that dome piece. So I did change out my drill bit to a larger drill bit just to create a larger hole there. Next, I'm gonna remove everything from the solar light except for that very top black piece. And I'm going to E6000 along the edges and place it onto the base of my dome, making sure that the light you can see through that hole that I drilled. Next, using that Dollar Tree chain, I'm going to place that around each of the three holes that I put around that dome. So I did have to open them a little bit with my pliers just to make sure that I could get them securely on. and then I'll put the dome back on the bottom. And then with this, you could hang it on one of those $1.25 hangers I had or anywhere you have around your house. It makes a great hanging solar light. Here's an eco-friendly hack you can try. Now, if you're needing a light in a storm, maybe all the lights go out, grab your solar lights from outside and bring them in for light. Another solar light idea that you can do, this one is gonna be great for your outdoor dining tables or maybe you have an outdoor coffee table. You wanna pick up five more solar lights. These I got in the silver color. You're also going to need a four by four board. Now I grabbed mine at Lowe's, but you could pick it up anywhere. So the first thing I did was I just cut my board down to size based on the size of my coffee table. You can make this any size you want. You can make it smaller or bigger, but I just wanted it to fit well on my coffee table. This is actually a really easy DIY to do, but you are gonna need some tools. Like one of the tools you're gonna need is a large set of drill bits to create holes for the solar lights to go in. I took the bottom piece off of my silver solar lights. I was trying to figure out which drill bit was going to be about the same size as my solar light. So once I picked one, I added it to my drill and I will link to all these tools down in the description box for you guys. Next, I came in and I marked my board. My board was about 30 inches long. So every five inches I made a mark so I knew exactly where to drill. Next, I came in with my drill and drilled holes straight down. I then would put a solar light into that hole just to make sure it was gonna fit in there securely. You can always adjust your drill bit size as well. Next, I sanded down my entire board and I came in with a dark stain. Now to stain a board, I usually just will brush the color on and then I immediately wipe it off with a paper towel. Once your board is dry, you can add in your lights. And here's how this solar light centerpiece turned out. Let me know down in the comments, which of these DIYs was your favorite? I love knowing your opinion and make sure you subscribe because I wanna see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.